So you click this video wondering why should I bother with enterprise architecture? Well, here we are to tell you that most companies look like they have a hairball network, and that's where enterprise architecture comes in. So in your business IT landscape, it should pretty much look like modules. My group and I will be showing you how enterprise architects responsibilities work. An enterprise architecture should be robust, flexible, and efficient. And it pretty much involves a lot of diagrams being drawn. Enjoy. Good morning. Welcome to our weekly architecture meeting. Rishal is here to present the architecture landscape. I'll hand over to Rishal. Okay, thank you so much. Um, so this is our architecture landscape over here. As you can see, we have application servers, database servers, email servers, telephony servers, as well as our authentication server. Basically everything that our business needs to run on and be efficient. Okay, so we have, you might be asking why are there two application servers and why are there two database servers over here? Of course, they actually host differently. As you can see, they, they kind of isolated the one application server and the database server because those are hosted onto the DMZ, which have limited access to our internal network. Those are where we'll be hosting all of our app, uh, external applications and services, which our partners will be using and consuming. Over in the middle, you can see the other application server and database server is in the environment of which all the other servers are. So then this is basically on our network, on our local network, which we can use Active Directory basic authentication or Windows authentication on these servers. So we'll be deploying all of the, well, all of the applications are already split and deployed in their respective places. Um, this is the list of what's on application server one. So then this is our local application server. Uh, that's our list of applications. There aren't many, but those are the applications we have. We're still a growing department. This is the list of applications that are hosted on the application server too. Of course, this is on our DMZ server and these are the applications and web services that our partners use. Okay, um, back to the architecture. You can see everything links up pretty well. We did cater for disaster recovery and business continuity in here as well. We do have servers, we just need to set them up and things like that and we will have complete control of our architecture and if everyone follows the standard we will have a sound environment with no problems. I just would like to open the floor for questions. Are there any concerns or questions regarding the architecture or the applications on the servers? No, there are no questions uh, regarding that but I do have a concern. The live banking verification is not on any of the lists that you have shown to us. Uh, can, it, can you please just uh, portray it there because I send it by email. Okay, um, you're right, it's actually not on here. Um, here you go, that's from your email. Okay, I recommend that it be added in the next to be architectural landscape version and this one will get signed off. Alright, can I be enlightened here? Uh, what kind of service is this? It is a wrapper service. And who's going to be our service provider? Uh, we have selected that our service provider is going to be BankServe. And where are we going to deploy it on our architecture? We're going to deploy it on our internal network. All right, thank you. Okay, um, I would just like to ask, um, if this architecture is signed off today, this application architecture, does this mean that it's ready for development and uh, bank serve is also ready on their side? Yes, yes, the architecture is ready for development. Actually, you can just portray it on the board. Okay, um, this is the logical design. Okay, this is the one we want. Here you go. Okay, so I've gone through uh, both the emails that you've sent and I'm quite happy with, with both the architecture landscape. I will send through my sign off via email. Okay, so this concludes our meeting. Thank you for attending. The meeting is adjourned. Greetings everyone, um, thank you for joining in on this meeting. Uh, William, our trusty developer, will be demoing the progress that we have made on the service. William? Greetings everyone. We have successfully managed to develop the service and we have done integration testing so far. And as you can see, there is an example of us doing a bank account verification using BankServe. 
Oh, so we're using BankServe as our service provider? Uh, yes, we're going to be using BankServe. Uh, it is the fastest in the market, and we had shortlisted a couple of them, but we thought that BankServe meets our requirements the best. Yes, it's actually right because we've already deployed on the DMC UAT environment, and it's performing very well. Oh, so it's successful in the UAT environment. So how soon can we go live? It won't be soon. We still have to perform user acceptance testing. So it's going to take about two to three iterations before we can actually deploy it. Hang on, um, William, did you actually say that it's deployed on the DMZ environment? I have? Because according to design, I know I'm standing in for the domain design as the enterprise architect, but according to this architecture design, it's actually supposed to be deployed on the local environment. Was there any reason for this being changed? Mm, actually, uh, <coughs> uh, we will ensure that it's deployed on the local environment. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, if you did get the architecture landscape, I do understand, uh, because it wasn't listed on the applications which one goes on the DMZ and the actual local servers. Sorry if that did, conf did cause <laughs> confusion for you guys. I'm quite embarrassed about it myself. I'm actually going to go rectify the design and I'll send it to you first thing tomorrow morning. That's great then. Um, we will wait for the design and if there's nothing else, meeting adjourned. Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Okay, to summarize. Enterprise architecture is all about the current situation, the development and evaluation of designs, and creating a sketch for the future for a single view of the strategy of the organization. Architecture is really only and always about insight and knowledge. The world is really unpredictable and we can't expect what regulators are going to come up with or what happens in the future, three years from now. So, in the end, architecture is pretty much all about maintaining our ability to change. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed the video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.